My name is Michael Corrin and I'm in my home in uh, Toronto. The main issue, I couldn't be part of a church that really excluded gay men and women who wanted to live that life. I don't mean be promiscuous or anything to do with the party scene. I just mean have a romantic, loving attachment to someone of, of the same gender. I, mean, I, I changed my position on this about a year and a half ago, and I just felt a bit of a fraud continuing to worship in the, in the Catholic Church. But there's more than that. Some teachings on contraception, on, on, on life. There seemed to be an obsession with issues that Jesus never mentioned. Well, it's been mixed. There are those people who feel disappointed because I was a champion of their cause. And I'm sorry for those people because they are, they're hurt. Although I haven't done anything to them really, but I understand that. There are those who actually have been very encouraging. That's a minority within the Catholic Church. But there's been a sort of avalanche of hatred and abuse, which I don't understand. I, I, can, I can understand people saying, oh, to hell with him. But the, the blogs, not only that, e email and Facebook and other, I mean, just horrible stuff, you know, that uh, I, um, I'm an adulterer, I cheat on my wife, that's why this has happened, I'm not sure of the connection, um, or that my daughter or daughters are gay, I wouldn't care if they were, they're not, and all my kids are notoriously heterosexual, but um, that's been going around too. Or I'm doing it for money, which is really weird, because, uh, well, to be candid, I've, I've, well, I won't give the amount, but I've lost three columns and seven speeches within 48 hours, so if I'm doing it for money, I'm pretty stupid. Um, I didn't seek this attention. It, it was right-wing Catholic bloggers who made this a public issue. So from outside, the, Anglicans have been, oh, just delightful. And ordinary people, I mean, it's been... So one email from, from, a, from a, a person of, of, of substance is worth a thousand of the haters. Many of the things he's said have been delightful, but I find him a bit inconsistent. So he will say, who am I to judge, about actually one particular gay man. I don't think it was about the gay issue in general. And then he'll go to the Philippines and talk about gender theory, which is really Catholic code for, for same-sex marriage and so on, and compare it to the ideology of the Hitler Youth, which is a, a, a grotesque thing to say. Certainly he is enabling the doors of discussion to be opened, but I know the church, the, the Roman Catholic Church world, believe me, things are not going to change. There may be minor cosmetic changes, but the, the, the heart of the teaching it just, it cannot, it won't change. It was so comfortable. I, I began to read Anglican theologians and the Anglican Cathedral in Toronto was very close to where I used to work at Sun News and I began worshipping there uh, most days actually, uh, receiving communion and I, I just fell in love with it. So I, I feel very much at home. But wherever you do find a home within Christendom, I mean, that's the point. I mean. I, I don't think it matters very much. I don't think it's love of Christ, it's relationship with God that matters, not the actual church you worship in, I would say.